what's up? You already know it's Shay Parker checking in once again right here on 93.9 WKYS, the most hip hop and R&B in the DMV. And listen, I have a really special guest in the studio today, in live, in person, face to face. Jay, how how are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me. How yes, of course. I am doing really good and super excited about your big show tonight. It's the first show of the tour. How are you feeling? I'm super excited, nervous. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm just excited to see like how it's gonna go. You know, hopefully my supporters pop up, pop out. They're gonna yeah. pop out. That's because what I'm I mean, excited to see. I'm excited to see, you know, the faces. And DC is like we just we were just in DC. Uh we did two shows one night, New Year's Day. Yeah. Uh, amazing. And you know, the support is always great here. So And weren't you here mm, it well, was some, like last May? Yeah. And then you sell out and you had to like uh-huh. add a show? Yeah. Child. <laughs> They're gonna pop out and show out at this show tonight. And uh-huh. you know, you're here with K Michelle, Absolutely. who is like an amazing artist, one of my favorite, you know, R and B singers. But uh-huh. ask why she got me blocked. Why K Michelle got me blocked? blocked? What you do to look that's I, my that's my I fellow don't know. Well, Shout right, out to K Michelle for having me. No, I love her. Um <laughs> and it's super, super dope. You know, I'm so I'm excited. And it's also an artist that I love. So you know, it's just dope to be able to go on tour yeah. um with her and yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, so how did you even do how did you link up with K Michelle? How mm-hmm. did that all come about? Yeah. So we were already like in talks of like working okay. uh, as, as far as a record. Um but long story short, like it was her fans, my fans, um she was on live one day and she was I, I don't know I guess she was talking about like having an opener and then like people were tagging me so I jumped on the live and she was mm-hmm. like oh he's here so we got on live and that's that's just how it happened like she was saying she's going on tour and she was looking for an opener and I'm like yo I really want to open like um, and yeah that's dope she just made it happen so. yes that's one of the that's one of the amazing things about mm-hmm. you know K Michelle she's so spontaneous uh-huh. and also really just all about the people and about her fans and about yeah. her supporters so I'm glad that it happened like that because a uh-huh. lot of times you hear you know artists having to go through hoops and bounds and a whole bunch of red tape to yeah. sort of collab and get together mm-hmm. so I'm excited now yeah. this is a long tour you're not going to be done <laughs> until, until like April. April yes now yeah. what city besides DC are you most excited to go to of course my hometown Memphis yeah. um, just because it's Memphis she's from Memphis I'm from Memphis so I think that's just going to be super super dope great energy um, I'm looking for I haven't been to New York yet so I'm excited okay. for that show just to get the vibes out there um, I don't know of course Atlanta we always, always have a good time yeah, in Atlanta. I mean, they gonna always show, show out. Um, honestly, I'm excited for all of them. Like, yeah. you know, just to, especially the places I haven't been yet. Um, you got like the is it Ohio's and all that. Um, it's a few. It's a lot right, of places. Right, that, that whole I little been. Midwest yeah, where you like, forget a lot of where the states are. I went to Chicago map. already. That was a vibe. <laughs> okay, um, so just all the cities I haven't been to. It's exciting. Yeah. Nice, mm-hmm. nice. Yes, this is a big tour. And listen, everybody's trying to get it back in blood with mm-hmm. the tours right now. I'm like, what show I'm gonna go to? Who I'm gonna get <laughs> yeah. my money? Too, okay? Oh, yeah, there's a lot going on. Because like, Beyonce won $900. I'm no, it like, was the Lovers and Friends that got me. Did you hear about that concert? Yeah. And it sold and out. Yeah, yes. I was trying to go to that. Because they got like Christina Aguilera, Miguel, which are two of my favorites. Like, of course, I'm going to Beyonce, Miami. Okay. Got to. Yeah, have got to. to. <laughs> have to. Whatever. Yeah. Listen, I was going to give her whatever uh, she asked for, but yeah, I was also going to complain about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. Now, the album, Honest, is uh-huh. out now. It is. Such a solid, a solid project. How do you feel about it, though? I'm ex- um, I, I love Honest. I'm, all, I'm always my, my worst critic. Um, I love the album because, you know, it, it's resonated with people and they love it. Let me say that. Okay. Um, I'm a, it's always a, a uneasy feeling, like for me, like with my craft and like writing about, you know, what I go through and like, you know, so and listening to it and having to embrace it and love it is yeah. always difficult, especially once you move out of that space. Um, but I'm excited. I'm dope. I mean, I'm, I'm excited. I'm dope. I'm you are excited, dope, I'm though. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> it's dope. I'm excited that it dope. turned out, you know, to be a dope project and people are loving it. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm excited for you. And listen, Thank I you. wanted to talk to you about the no features vibe uh-huh. on the project. <laughs> now, was that intentional? Did you want people just really to be able to hear you mm-hmm. and it not, you know, be a whole bunch of whistles and bells or a bunch of features yeah. trying to I fill it up? I don't mind getting into the features. It just have to be right. Like, I'm right. not a person that just want to work because it's available to me or because that person has a platform or you know whatever the case may be it has to work it has to be a vibe you know yeah. I've already started working with you know different artists I won't say yet um, cause you know, you know I was about to ask <laughs> who, you, who you working with but you know and if it's not right it's just not right and they respect it you know artist to artist and yeah that's just what I believe in 
Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Now, I know but, you can't give us the tea on who you're working with, you know, just yet. But <laughs> if there was anyone dead or alive that you could work with right now in 2023, mm-hmm. who would it be? Just one person. Dead or alive. Uh, I'm going to have to say my dream. I can, that's hard. That's really hard because I, I don't. Uh, See, that's why I asked this because it's know, hard. It's, it's like, really I would choose just I feel one. Like it's like cheating or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to have to say Beyonce because that's, that's my idol but second to Beyonce would definitely be Miguel I found my tribe y'all <laughs> okay because I am a beehive committee member oh, yeah. at this point Love I'm on her. the board yeah. so I am absolutely with it now you know you and K. Michelle are both you know heavy songwriters mm-hmm. you push the pin for Thank this you. this album Honest mm-hmm. Where did this come from? What life experiences went into making honest? Uh-huh. I mean, the norm, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes I pull from past, so it's not like, you know, I could be going through it in the, in the very moment. Uh, but anything, like I have friends that, you know, are in sometimes troubling relationships. I talk to them and they spark something in my head. They may say a certain line. I'm just like, oh, shit, that's kind of dope. You know, some people got ghosted. I ain't going to say no names. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, look, she's laughing. But, you know, I just like to... Everything is is an experience to me. Like, so I just always, yeah, just pull from anything and everything. Yes. Um, Look, that was my way of not, like, telling my business. Right. I'm like, so you ain't going to tell us about how you was in love and how he cheated on you and you had to let them know what was up. It's like, I'm just I'm just kidding. But, I mean, I I admire artists who, you know, Mm. let us get a little glimpse into their life, you know, through their music. Because, to be honest, I I came up during the time where social media was just getting popping. And so we didn't necessarily have the expectation of knowing everything about a celebrity celebrity um until really i started getting into middle and high school yeah. so now it's just like people feel entitled to you yeah. all's lives and to your personal business when mm-hmm. i'm like they don't have to share that with us they don't even have to share their art with us right. to be completely honest yeah. so i get it i completely i completely respect it but i am gonna ask you this mm-hmm. are you single taken or is it complicated it's the month of love that people want to know i am focused i'm going on tour Th- that ain't what i asked i'm you, excited J-Hal. and i'm working <laughs> and i'm in love with my career right now I'm I'm single for sure. Um, okay. But yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm just focused. And when it comes along, it comes along and that's, yeah. Now, what if you get a little crazy moment on on tour, you know, <laughs> you meet someone. Are you down for like the tour antics that you know that I'm goes focused. on on tour? My managers don't let me out their sight and we're going to be focused and they're going to be on me. Okay. Like, you know, <laughs> that's just what it is. We stay in focus around here. I love that for you. I love that for you. All right. So I want to play a little game with you okay. really quickly. Now it's called This or That. Okay. And you have to quickly choose this or that. Okay. Which one would you take and which one has the go all right okay so here we go fried chicken or fried fish fried chicken that's easy okay okay i found my <laughs> tribe you sure we you know we my best friends in another life all right second question lace front or lashes lashes i, guess. <laughs> I, I need both I, I need both. It, you know. I need my hairline and I need I don't my legacy. That's not, a <laughs> you said, that's not, that's not that's for not. me. But I always ask this because I see the rhetoric on, you know, social media about like uh, how people don't like lace fronts, how people's lashes look like spiders. Uh, so I'm always curious, you know, yeah. whether you're gay, straight, whatever. I'm just mm-hmm. always curious to what people think, like about Lace fronts or lashes? I guess. I don't know. There's lashes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the next question. What would you prefer, movies or TV? Mm, movies, for sure. Okay, you're a movie person. Yeah. I'm definitely one of the TV shows. Like, I'm going to mm. binge watch a show. All day, all weekend. Oh, we like got say series then. I mean, when you say TV, I'm thinking of, like, like live oh, TV. Oh, just watching TV. Yeah. Okay, so TV series or movies? <laughs> Series. Okay, yeah. series. Mm-hmm. All right. Gotcha. Well, thank you for playing. Absolutely. That's just a little fun game I like to do with everyone to get to know a little bit more about them. Now, let everybody know where they can find you and, of course, where they mm-hmm. can get J House Music. Yes. Follow me on Instagram at J Howell Music One. That's J H O W E L L Music in the number one. My album, Honest and Red Room, are available now on all platforms. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you.